you guys welcome back to my channel today we are gonna do a Dollar Tree haul I haven't done one of these in a while um, I believe it was last fall was the last time I did it but I decided that I wanted to go to Dollar Tree the other day because I seen some of the other hauls that some of the girls were doing and I seen a couple things that I wanted to check out so this is just gonna strictly be like the beauty aisle stuff I did get other stuff but I'm not gonna show that um I did get some uh, knee-high tights and some, um, what are those, no-show footy things that you wear inside of high heels. Those are cool. They had a three-pack for a buck, of course, because it's Dollar Tree. But I want to show all the fun stuff that everybody loves in beauty. Um, first, we will start out with some of the new Bellerio stuff they have. Actually, I think this is all Bellerio. So this is all Bellerio stuff. Um, they've been coming out with a lot of new stuff, and I absolutely adore it. Okay, so the first thing is a Unicorn Dust Bath Bomb. It's a three-pack, and they're all multicolored. There's yellow and blue and pink and purple on them, I think. Pink, yellow, blue, yeah. And you get three of them. These aren't very big, but they're fun. They're only a buck, and it, it, I enjoy them. They help. You know, like, and me enjoy bath time. I enjoy it. It's relaxing. Um, just says, drop in warm water and get in, relax, enjoy, rinse clean afterwards. Now, these don't have a strong scent, but they do change your color, your water color. So, that's the fun part of it. And for kids, they're ultra cheap. If you want to have, like, a little girl spa day with your kids who are, like, 7, 10, you know, they really enjoy those. And whatever, you know. And then they also had the fresh watermelon bath bombs. And I seen these and I was like, yeah, baby, watermelon. So, and they're red, so I'm assuming they're going to turn your rod, uh, bath water red. So, and what's nice about Bellerio is it says finished product is not tested on animals. So, I'm, I'm glad that they're putting that on there now. The next thing is also from the watermelon line. It's the watermelon brightening hydrating facial mask. Um, this is just the sheet mask. It says rich in vitamin C. And it's just one. It says apply mask evenly across face, smooth uh, to ensure good coverage on skin for three to five minutes. Gently wash mask from face, wipe off residue with a damp cloth. Your skin will feel more moist and smooth after use. Now, I have yet to use a Valerio sheet mask. So, I have a couple. I just haven't used them. I have so many sheet masks. I just kind of whatever. But, i seen the watermelon one. And, I really like watermelon scented stuff. And, I figured since it's got vitamin C in it, it'd be helpful. Because, I don't use a, a vitamin C serum or anything. So, vitamin C masks are nice to have every now and then. Which, I do have a couple. I mainly use hydrate and um, brightening masks, but I do like to incorporate a vitamin C mask every now and then just for the added benefit. So that was cool. And I picked up two more things from their watermelon line. I picked up the clay facial mask, Liche and watermelon. It's kind of the same thing as the facial mask, the like sheet mask, but um, it's in a clay form, and I thought that'd be good. It says, leave on for 5 to 10 minutes, rinse off with lukewarm water. So, that's cool. And the nice thing about this is, like, they're all safety sealed. I was going to smell them in the store, but they were all safety sealed. But I figured for a buck, I might as well try it out. You know, Valerio's not a bad company. And then the last thing I got that's in the watermelon line is the Jelly Glow Serum. And this is also Liche and Watermelon. Isn't this just the cutest packaging? And it says apply three to five drops to clean skin, massage in, and leave on. Now, I figured this would be good for, like, days I don't wear makeup. Because I don't wear, I only wear my makeup maybe three to four times a week. Not even. So, I figured this would be good to be a day moisturizer I can keep in my bathroom. Because I have a night cream that I have in there as well that I use. And then this would be a good day cream. And then I also have a moisturizer in my vanity for the days that I go and I put makeup on. Um, so this I think would be good to just keep in my makeup or my bathroom when I'm just doing like a quick moisturizer before I go to work. So that's what I got this for. 
I absolutely love the packaging they came up with. The next thing I got is the Bolero Coconut Avocado and Banana Repair and he Repair All Healing Hair Mask. Restore and Perfect. Um, says this formula hydrates and strengthens hair to silky perfection. It's paraben-free paraben as well. I try not to use parabens or silicones or anything on my hair because I do have curly hair. I did curl it today, um, which is a little bit curlier than normal. It's not a whole ton. Like, this side looks way curlier. But, um, I don't tend to use any shampoos or conditioners with silicones or any of that stuff. I actually am using the Maui brand hair, which is almost 100% natural. It's vegan. Cruelty free, gluten free. Um, it's made with 100% aloe and coconut water, I believe. I really like that. My husband doesn't. I said, don't touch it then. But I really like it and um, I would recommend it. It is about $10 a bottle, but I usually get mine on sale. And with this as well, this is also safety sealed. This was actually the last one I seen there and I was like, yeah, I'll pick that up. It's got coconut in there. I like coconut. I like banana. I'm not so sure about avocado, but I've never had issues with it in skincare. I just don't like the fruit it, or the veggie itself or whatever you want to call it. The fruit, the seeds, I don't know. So we're going to give that a try. It is a small little five ounce, you know, no, nothing big, couple tries, but for a buck, why not? And then I seen the mango melt body yogurt after shower cream, and this is Bolero. Now, this reminds me a lot of the um, Body Shop's yogurts, and I actually have the mango yogurt. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on one arm, and then the other one on the other arm, and test them out and see what the difference is. Because if this is just as good as that one, I might just switch to these, because they're literally a buck. And the other ones are like $18. But... Never know until you try it, and um, we'll see. And I use lotion all the time, so I don't care if I have 25 million lotions. I literally go through a lotion a month, a full-size lotion a month. So that was the last item. I was super excited to see that. They had four kinds. One was coconut and rose. There was the mango one, banana something or other. And I don't remember what the fourth one was. But that was the only one that really interested me. I don't like rose scent. Otherwise, I would have got the coconut rose. But it had that rose in it. And I can't do rose. And I wasn't sure how strong it was. If the coconut was more overpowering or the rose. So I wasn't willing to risk it. But that's all I have for you guys today with those. If you guys have found any cool beauty steals at Dollar Tree... Let me know about it in the comment section. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and like or comment on the video. I'm always interested in reading your uh, comments. And I most generally, if not always, answer back, like, or heart it. Um, just so you guys know, I am reading comments. And I look forward to seeing you all in the near future. Bye, guys. Have a good day.